Hi, I'm Talia Rubin, and I'm here to introduce my new book of poetry to you, Iceland is Melting and So Are You, that's coming out with Book Hug Press on 12th October, so in a couple of days. Um, the book is basically about, hmm, should I do this again? <laughs> no, keep going, keep going. The book is basically about the disappearance of ice and the current climate emergency and a reflection of that in terms of like the opening or softening melting of the human heart. So it was my wrestling with emotions around climate change and how to actually process information and materials that are almost impossible for us to fathom and touch and really have any kind of feeling around. I guess it came out of like the the main impetus for the book was I was reading an article about the disappearance of, well, basically the bleaching of the coral reef in the Great Barrier Reef. And I just found that such an emotional thing. As soon as I heard about that, I just felt, I found myself in this state of real grief about it. And I realized that I was not really processing what was going on around us and because of us. And that news stories and the way that we take in information is so hard to process when it comes to climate change. And I just started writing these poems that were kind of reaching to something more minute, like the minutiae of nature, and then also something about time and space and the largeness of the great, the sort of geological side of things as well. So it was kind of a reckoning with the tiny and the enormous and all the while kind of tracking my own emotional connection with the material. Hopefully it is intense, but also a celebration of humanity, even while we are able to acknowledge our limitations and mistakes and what we're losing, and a celebration of the natural world as well, and a love for the planet. Okay, I will just read one poem from the book. It's the first poem. It's called The Snow Queen. What if a shard of tainted glass alighted in your eye and the world went white, a fouled lullaby, and the girl of your dreams turned out to be the snow queen, and you got caught in rose brambles trying to make things right, and one drop of blood began a litany of blood and the rivers ran red, and the petals off peonies fell to land, weeping in defeat. And you called this a regular day on earth, because now the great undoing had begun, and desperate thieves failed to stuff diamonds back into the shifting ground. And the thunder of collapse was so deafening, it overtook the traffic like the crackle of bushfire ripping through pine plantations, screaming through ancient stands of forest. And the tumble of glaciers and ice flows went unnoticed, except their distant rumble was everywhere in our veins. And the highways that crisscrossed LA like snakes stood still, their twisted bodies a monument to a chrysanthemum's dead-headed gaze. And buses shuttled empty, their ghost passengers staring out ghost windows onto ghost streets at the world we made and unmade, made and unmade, until it made us, finally made us into who we are. I hope you enjoy the book.